Bates over the middle, and it is picked off. Bates, touchdown for it. You know, it's, it's easy, I guess, at 46 years old to, to say what you want from your kids. And I just want them to, to love something and, and to be passionate about something. And that's where success comes and that's where happiness, more importantly, comes. I never would have thought it when I was here at the University of Florida that, you know, that that fishing would fall under that that category under that umbrella but it's like that's that's the way jake's life has has really turned out i mean it's just it's a beautiful thing to, to watch him goodness what a beautiful fish that, this is basically this is the first picture back when you used to hold a rod in your teeth that was wow. really big that was good. Right, jake. good job you know the the drive that's kind of where it where it all starts from and he loved doing his sports on all his different sports teams and stuff. It's just always amazing how he's just um, always has the energy and the desire to get out there. So growing up in the in the Bates family, you know, is not an option to be lazy. You know, you're expected to play a sport um, or you know get a job. One big thing that my parents preached was don't waste the day, you know, and like what are you going to do to better yourself? Do something to better yourself every single day because you're competing for this job or this position on this team, you know. You work harder than the person next to you that's got more talent, you know, chances are you're going to be better prepared. gray over cast days or morning like a, sometimes a white's really a really good top water bait or maybe even like a chartreuse <laughs> there you go the people that are great at what they do i think that they're all sponges of some sort how can i get better how can i take from your great qualities and your great qualities and you how can i learn from you and they just soak it all in So we were getting ready to play a game, and I had done this hundreds of times. Picked up a ball and you know, tossed it to him just like normal. I was at home getting ready to go to one of Jake's baseball games, and the phone rings. And the next thing I knew, I was laying on the ground. I was so hot and throwing all, up all over myself, spitting up blood. And then I like kind of fell back asleep. And the next thing I knew, I was I woke up in the hospital. It's, it's such a terrible feeling, and there's nothing you can do but just get there as fast as you can. What had happened was he was in a batting cage before a game, and, and they were taking batting practice, and he was pitching soft toss. The ball came off that bat 10 feet away and goes right through the rip in the screen that hit him in the head. And so it fractured his skull here and here. I was in ICU for almost a week, and it, it changed my life. It changed my life forever, and it all came to a halt. I love being out, outside and everything, and I, I'm not going to just sit around at home. The only thing I could do was fish, and that's exactly what I did. Hey, Dad, there's a fish right here. So I kind of stopped playing baseball a little bit and fished more. And he was in so much pain and there were so many questions as to who he would be when he came out of this. And that was, <laughs> so careful of what you wished for because now the dude fishes every day. To my parents at the time, you know, fishing wasn't a, a sport, but I, I was so passionate about it and I got, you know, I, I started doing these tournaments and I turned it into my sport. Football, and it's not swimming, but that guy, he grinds, and it does not face him. Right there, right there, right there. Real, 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 drop, 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 drop. Tick, 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 tick. It's everything.
every single morning. It's making sure he knows what the tide's doing, what the sun's doing, what the wind's doing. I would say the thing that separates Jake from other guys fishing his age is just his tenacity and how much, that's, that's all Jake wants to do. He wakes up, he fishes, he goes to sleep, he's texting me, he's calling me about fishing, and he's always out there. I've, I've spent countless hours, you know, just studying, looking at, looking at the tides, even when I'm, I'm in school, I'm, I'm constantly just checking Google Earth. I think even in high school, I've had, I had teachers say that he just was studying the tides all the time during his classes. I just think anytime you want to be great or exceptional at things, it just does take a little special desire and interest. It's not 12 o'clock and I'm wrapping up going home. No, I'm going to stay out the whole day until I feel like I've learned something new and I've put in my time and I've gotten something out of it. Most people fish for 10 years, but things are getting out of it. And they just don't have that, that motivation, that drive. And Jake's gonna have 10, 15 years experience and be 30 years old. He's gonna be on another level. I know I'm not the best yet. You know, I'm, I'm only 22 years old, but in five, 10 years, I will put in that time. And you know, I wanna be the best efficient all over the state. I wanna be the best efficient all over the South. You know, I wanna be the best efficient everywhere. My name is Jake Bates, and I run Boy Grande Fishing Charters.